Okay, um, the way I see it, it's um, just like anything else. Obviously, uh, there's a specific detox process for heroin, or you can detox at home, like that's possible. But um, a lot of people go to withdrawal management where they can get substitutes to help them taper off the heroin. And then from there, um, you go to um, drug rehab, just like um, any other substance. There's also NA, Narcotics Anonymous, that's another option. Uh, usually, well, a lot of the times it's done as part of aftercare after someone completes treatment. But uh, some people don't go to treatment and they go to NA instead. Um, a lot of times people can't afford treatment and NA is free. So they can just come, they can come as much as they want, as often as they want, and they don't really have to pay other than a lunar or two knee to put for donations. Uh, that's, it works for some, again, not for everyone. Mm. That's another option. Um, yeah, there's, um, there's, there's different ways, uh, but a lot of the times uh, detox is necessary. Sometimes it's not. Sometimes uh, someone would just um, use heroin once in a while, but it's still very problematic and they still need help like with in the case with, of binge use like if someone's a binge user they use a whole bunch and sometimes people overdose that way really easily because they don't have a build up tolerance to it they would just use a whole bunch and their body would get overwhelmed and they would overdose so in the case of that in the case of binge use detox isn't necessary because they don't have that physical dependence so they can just go straight to treatment or they can go straight to NA and just do the program and get the actual treatment. If you or a loved one are looking for help with substance abuse, call our 24-7 helpline at 1-800-615-1067. A caring addiction advisor is awaiting your call.